I show you if you're measuring the time between trains correctly. So we have this train here. It's right now 14, 11, 14, 11, and then you let it go. Make sure you leave this window open where you can see the number of passengers and then follow the train and then here at station 2 you look very closely this train will arrive here and on board and then board Right before the onboarding, you have to put the time. That's the exact time that the, the train arrived. And here, since there is like three minutes to to board and onboard, if the train is leaving right now with the passengers, every everybody is already boarded. Fourteen fifty-six. So you have to deduct three minutes from this time. That's the exact time the train arrived. And then you follow it to the next station. This one will be easier. Reduce the time speed. And the train is arriving. When all the persons leave the train, you pause the game. Right now. 50, 15, 3, 1. So the, the, all the passengers left, left the train and the train um, changed the, the direction. That's the exact time you have to, to type. And then if I unpause the game, all, all the other persons you board and three minutes you you pass. That, that's the three minutes waiting time. And when the the train boards like it did, it's the exact arrival time. That's the time you have to put in the two. So like this, with passengers coming in and out, you you can be sure you are putting the correct arrival and departure time at the stations so you have the correct journey time between the stations okay so here is the next part of the video fine tuning we will put the train the first train at the station i have three trains they are already synchronized and set up like the two told us and you can see here that I put the name of my train as S3 T4 8 AM. So it means that I have to put this train in station 3 at track 4 at before 8 AM. So I will place this train here. Right now it's 7.40. And I'm pause the game. Wait till 8 AM. And the next train is S3, station 3, T4, track 4, 9 a.m. Before 9 a.m. I have to place it here. And it will leave at 9 a.m. And the next train, the same thing but 10 a.m. Trains you synchronize and run along the three stations. Until twenty one. 
which is the time and setup in the two and also a setup here so the service is from 8 a.m. to 21 so what you want to observe here is that at 21 All the trains are synchronized, nobody is crashing, nobody is facing each other. So now it's like 21, exactly now, 21. So the problem is that train 2 stop at station 1 train 1 stop at station 2 and train 0 also stop at station 0 so if you don't want these trains blocking the station because for example I use these tracks at night for freight so if the trains passenger trains are not serving any passengers but blocking the station that's not a good thing I want all of them to be parked here at the terminal or at the main station or here at the terminal always use the terminal to park your trains at night so here the trains stop at the middle of the station you, we can easily fix this with the tool ok so back to the tool you can see here that I have the same setup I put in the, the game so one train leaving at 8 one at 9 and one at 10 and the problem is that the train 1 for example he have his last arrival at, plat at terminal 2 at terminal platform 2 which is, which is the st station 2 so the train will be parked there and I want all of the trains to be at station 1 so what I have to do is two week time instead of 21 I put 2140 for example and then you should unhide the columns which is right here you click on this plus just to see if the train arrived there so let's go back so you can see the difference 21 at 21 the train will arrive at station 2 and not leave anymore if I put 2140 the train will arrive at station 1 and not leave anymore and then we do the same thing for the train 2 the train 2 is parking at station 2 as well but the other platform so we we increase a little bit 23 and then we check here not enough because the train has to park here let's increase it again 22 30 go there look not enough 23 yes now all the trains are parked at station one this train arrive at station one and stay there this train arrive and stay and train three already arrive and stay so we just rebuild the timetable and go back in the game and put the last arrival adjust the last arrival to be the one the two is telling us to put <laughs> down train 1 should have the last time at 2140 train 2 at 23 and train 3 we leave it as it is okay so back in the game you put here train 00 track 4 and then here where it says 21 you have to put 2040 just like the tool told us and you have to do the same thing in every station so train 00 at track 2 
2140. Actually, if you just set that here, it's enough. On where it's already parked, station two. And train number one, the same thing. Departure time. Train zero one. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty three. So right now all the trains should be parked here at station 1, but since it's not possible that all trains park at the same track 4, we need to change some things. So if you don't want the trains to park here in the middle, what we have to do is change, make connections to the other platforms, trains here at the station. Okay, so what you want to do is to put the trains, park all the trains in this station. Then, for example, we have train 1, it will be in here. Train 0, no, train 1 will be at here. And train 2 will be in here. So what happens is that all trains will serve here at track 4, just like we set up. But at night, they will park here at your other platforms. So train one will leave and go back here. No, leave at this and then go back the other side. And then at this part, train zero zero, you always take the branch. So you just set up here straight or branch. You can see the, the arrow change a little bit. Let's do it again so you can see. or branch yes. so always take the branch no matter what and then in in here train zero zero always takes the branch as well straight branch always takes the branch so train one you will always end at platform four no matter what but for train one we want the train one to leave here and then go back to the other side so train one so let's click here on train one we'll take the branch always at this part of course and then at here at this part train one will not take the branch or straight will be time time means the train one will go to this to the part the arrow is saying from 6 to 21 after 21 the train Z 01 will go straight so after 21 after the train is will not be served served at serves anymore you go straight and be parked here so you just click on train one click on time select time the, the time of the train one is servicing is from eight 
from actually it's nine from nine nine to twenty one after twenty one the train will automatically get the, the automatically goes to to go straight and not take the branch and the same thing for train two train two I want it to go straight here no also take the branch take the branch no matter what time always and then when arrives here when arrives here train two will you have to set up time and then at serves time which is nine it's actually ten but you can put nine or nine thirty whatever ten to twenty one ten to twenty one the train will will take the branch but after this time we'll go straight so I want the train after twenty time twenty one take the brain take go straight and in this one train two will take the branch always because if the train one is here you already take the branch okay that's it so like this you can set up each uh, each intersection for the train to take the where you want to go and then they will be parked like this and leave and serves at platform 2 just like you set up so you save on tracks you only have three tracks but three trains and then you also save on the amount of trains as you can see this game don't, don't use signals it's only departure times and the times also in the intersections so you need to program everything to work flawlessly 